Welcome to the channel everyone, hope you're having a lovely day out there. Today, we're going to be doing some Age of Empires 2 campaigns, but here's the problem. I've played Age of Empires 2, and I've played Age of Empires 2 HD. I haven't played DE, so we still need to learn how to play, you know. So what we've done is we've suited up with our beautiful Wide Raider icon up the top here. And we're going to do... We're going to start off with the William Wallace campaign. Because we need to learn how to march and fight and all that. Don't worry about the gold medals. That's just uh, cheating, you know. <laughs> so, got it on hard. We'll go marching and fighting. Do all of them now. Get them out of the way. And then we we'll, we can move on to the other campaigns. And we'll know what we're doing. So let's go. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south. What Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns in Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the Highlands. It's quite hydrated as well. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. I love how this guy's like, we need a fight for Scotland, for freedom. If we're to have and then this guy's like, I want to be a longbowman. An army by any means necessary. Then everyone just look, turns back and looks at him and he's like, what? <laughs> oh, that's right. We're the Scots. That's right. Follow the instructions to reach the Scottish village. You can scroll to view more of the map by moving the mouse side to the side. The road ahead leads to the nearby Scottish village. Thank goodness, because I'd get lost in the woods otherwise. Oh! The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we have to zoom out so we have a good tactical aerial view, uh, next flag's like there. Fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now, yeah, right too far near the blue flag. Good. Now move to the next flag. This one's like on the bottom, I think. Right is it? No, it's on the, the flag. Yeah, it is on the side. Now to move to the oh. next flag. So this one's like walk there. The black area. Oh. Moving into the black area reveals more it's of the map. Also there. The black area represents. I always try to hit like where the flag's gonna be. Today. I didn't actually now see if I was there. Flag. No, I don't think I was. It was like lucky. We'll see. I won't touch anything. We'll see where he stops. Pretty close. Let's go. Soldiers at once. Click near the units and drag around them. Bid fear. Then right oh, click to move. There we go. We know how to group Try units now. Soldiers to the next flag. Did all your oh. units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Oh. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top yeah. of the screen. Me and the then boys. The red outpost. Right click the outpost to attack it. Me and the boys on my way to destroy your outpost. Done cut. Get him. We're gonna actually shift. Oh, we don't want that. We're gonna do that and then immediately move here. Knight, when you finish that, move up to the village. You know, a little pro pro shift queuing strat. I don't know if that's actually shift queuing. Holding shift and then doing sort of clicking the button for something else. The outpost is destroyed. That should be a little bit too far up. Keep following the path to the village, home sweet home. But wait, oh, the English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. Get him, boys. The village. Oh, yeah, he's so far away. Don't he was so far away. <laughs> Just click your soldiers and right click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers, and you what if you can lose a militia in this mission? Now you know how to fight back against the English army. Like, wow, there was a bit of lag there, but alright. Scotland has soldiers now. If only a few. As opposed to having none, wait. But to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we'll need many more recruits and much more gold in our coffers. coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be drenched with the blood of clansmen. Did anyone hear the, like, machine gun in the background? Just... That's basically an English longbowman, I guess. Well, they don't have thumb rings, so I don't know. An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we have cobbled together will collapse again. Oof. Apparently, we just never had soldiers before. Now it's just like, yeah, now now we have an army, but it took us a while to get them. 
50 food, 50 wood, and 50 gold. Villagers can gather wood, food, gold, and stone. You need to build buildings, research, tech, and create soldiers. There are gold deposits in northeast and southeast of your town center. Okay. To support the Scottish army, you will need to build up your stockpile of resources. Okay. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood, and 50 gold. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town center. Just further out, it looks alright, yeah. I do like the uh, like the Celtic, the Celtic, Celtic like theme. If that makes the sense. amount like of the, food you have the is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold, and stone stockpiles. Some villages. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Good. You found some gold. A bit further up, but alright then. We'll do it this way, so then we'll just wait for them all to gather what we need, and then we can do some force drop-offs if we really need to. God, that's a good metronome. Anyone who tells you they don't like the woodcutting noises are lying. I love it. Kia? Alright, you start doing food, because we'll need 20 food but only 10 wood. Sorry, 20. Did I say 20 food? 20 food, 10 wood. That's what we need. Even the pickaxe is nice here. Good sounds, good sounds. Good job. You now have enough wood. Now I have enough wood. Uh, so, we click you when he gets... Kid. Great. Kia, you now have 50 food. That'll be enough. To win, uh, also gather 50 wood gold and 50 gold. Should be there. To gather wood, click a villager, Kia. then right click. If you haven't gold. found any gold yet, search in the unexplored territory. Excellent. You now have enough gold. You're well on your way to making a city. If you haven't found any gold, oh, by the way, I have enough gold. It's fine. <laughs> Edward Longshanks, for all its disrepute has shown his military tactics in Wales, England and France to be very effective, if not I just realised there's little sheep shears down the bottom here. He is indeed an enemy to be feared. We English sacked the town of Berwick-upon-Tweed. I that they could call it a battle, but it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organise our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray that we can be ready when Longshanks comes. When Longshanks comes. Oh, Berwick upon Tweed. Run the mills with their blood, he said. <laughs> It'll be fine, he said. Next level. Let's and through. In villages throughout the Highlands, there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the town of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up spear, sword, and bow. We must transform these shepherds into soldiers. This guy's like, we need a fight. We need a fight against the English. This old guy in the back's like, I'm fighting in your war. <laughs> Train for militia. Don't forget, keep exploring the map. We've not heard from our scouts. The They're probably lost in the woods. What's this? What? We will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. Oh. To win, you will need to create four militia. We'll start Rob by Wigan. creating villagers. Rob Click your Go town ahead. center. What's with the Snapchat filter? Seriously, what the hell? I don't under. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's see if we can find our scouts, eh? Uh, we'll do one over here. Even the building noise is nice. Damn. Kid. Kid. Paul. Oh. 
Bit here. Tall. Valgre. Evla, bit here. Tall. Valgre. Tall. No scouts. Kid, bit here. Tall. Hello. Barry, you out in the forest, Tall. boy? Tall. <laughs> Put a dog, I guess, but. Evla. It's funny to think he is. Now that you have a few soldiers, nice. you'll be able to defend the city against English attacks. You can still build seven villages as well, just heads up. Just fast and build that way. The stationed across the border. The English have slowed their raids. But facing Longshank's army will be another matter. The wicked English king is yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Mm -hmm. Our militias can only get us so far. We're going to need more advanced weapons. Poor Shaggy, he is like, I just found a bow, and Shaggy's dad right next to him was just like, Like zoinks, it's not gonna work. Like zoinks, Wallace. Rumors creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland. His great sword thriving through earth, man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can stall the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Develop the arms. Even now our smiths are forging swords and fletchers are crafting arrows and crossbow bolts. Crossbow bolts. I suppose you do get crossbows, but... Make sure the Castle Legends campaign. To win, you need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raids. Your soldiers will automatically attack any enemy soldiers that are near them. Blah 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 blah. You can also select them. Your village is surrounded by forests, but that does not mean it's safe. English soldiers have been roaming the countryside, plundering and raiding. Kid, the English use very advanced Wrong one. weapons and armor. I'm learning hotkeys too. You will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raids. You're going sure to need to research start. some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. For example, researching loom makes your villagers harder to kill. To research here, click the town center, then click the research loom. Thank you. Let's go, peeps. Alright, we'll just get some food. Food lets us go to the feudal age. We'll build some spearmen because there's a knight that spawns. You don't need to, but I just like to. Just to show the AI, the learning AI person that I know what's up. Yo. A couple more food. There we go. All right, and while we're doing that, we're going to set the ambush up. What does that sound? Did anyone hear that? It was like something fell over. Maybe it was the deer, but. Yeah, I don't know. So what we'll do is we'll build um maybe two spearmen for here, and that way when they spawn in, they'll hit the knights right off. Just gotta wait till they level up now, so I guess we'll just sit here and wait. In addition to gathering food at forage bushes, villagers can herd sheep or hunt deer for food. Do you know that villagers can herd sheep or hunt deer for food? Did you know that? Thank you for the tip. If only I knew I could hunt deer and herd sheep for food. At least that villager didn't just go, I'm going to murder another sheep and do it. We're just going to try and get to this one. He tried. A for effort. 
We'll get some semen, and then we'll upgrade to Manatee. Is the best way to improve your civilization. The idle villagers. Hey, what is this? Click it and locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. Upgrade to men at arms. Got him. Yeah, maybe it is a day just getting upgrading to men at arms. Like dropping that was all your militia force to the more powerful men at arms. Men at arms. Yar. All right, let's do it. Let's get a good, good shot at this. <laughs> that stupid English will never know what hit him. Come on, upgrade. It's almost there. The men at arms. Again. Teach them a lesson with your new men at arms. Did they not spawn? Maybe I have to move. Maybe I can't have them here. Well, hey, hey! Nice. The English are making a sneak attack. <laughs> that's that's really not good for my economy. I think I lost four villagers there. Yeah, get him, sheep. The English are no match for your warriors. I lost one, two. I lost four villagers. Those damn crafty English, I'll tell you. Long Shanks has invaded, stormed, and sacked the city of Pearl. Worse, he has captured the fabled Stone of Scone Stone of and Scone. declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. Any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish that he would bring his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle. Next do battle. Battle. Alrighty. Look that technology points. Research three. We both researched three technologies, so... Very unfortunate. My cord keeps wrapping itself around random stuff, and I don't like it. That's what all that was. Next level! Listen through. We're up the to Sterling. Minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. War. The villain Longshanks is poised to cross the River Forth and threaten the town of Sterling with a force of men at arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. I love that that helmet design as well, where it's got like it's like the helmet and then it's our got the cross on it. army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. So I used to, I used to play a lot of Teutons back in the day. I uh, say like back like not multiplayer i just like play like random maps and i'd always play Teutons. and that was literally it, it was because i had teutonic knights which had the cross and the helmet and then i was just like yeah not really for me i'm not a big teutonic knight guy defeat the english army and destroy their watchtower this scenario begins similar to a random map after you play the scenario you should know everything you need to play a random map don't forget keep exploring the map the Scots have come to the village of Stirling to face the English in battle. Across the stone bridge to the west lies the English fort. Cat. The time has come to right, take let's the land offensive. Right. Q is a house. You come the down English here. Have a fort near the town of Stirling. One. If we can defeat the English here, they may uh, think twice QW. about the invasion of there Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. You have found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food. So send them back to your town centre and assign a villager to gather food from them. Keep making villagers at your town centre until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. Oh yeah, build a dock uh, tea. Have your there villagers you build a dock in the Look water at me go. To the south. The hill with the dead tree protects the and only I'll build a barracks now because I'll forget otherwise. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. You can specify a location for new units to gather by setting a gather point. For villagers, That's what I wanted. click the town center uh, uh, you and click the set gather point button. Scout cavalry are poor fighters. Poor fighters. But they can see a great distance. 
You can use your scout cavalry to explore uh, the rest yeah, of the no, world. Yeah, no, Sorry, you're right. English. Now click the dock and build a fishing ship. Uh, we'll get him to start doing wood as well, and we'll get everyone else to do some wood. Get some more villages lined up. Kia. Oh. The odd again. Sheep are making their way downtown. Uh, I don't even know where else to... I built a dock. Don't have enough wood to build fishing ships, so I didn't think that through. That being said, I don't usually build a barracks right away. We'll get him on wood as well. Because lumberjacks work faster for the Scots. The Celts, I should say. They're not Scots, but you know what I mean. Got a couple of militia now, start building up a fort. Oh no, we better not start building up a fort yet. Um, I'll get a couple more lumberjacks and then we'll start focusing. Actually, I can build a fishing ship now. That'll get a good food income coming in, at least. Build any more? Alright. Knew that was gonna happen. To fish, click a fishing ship and right click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. Well, no, just when I thought I had a good strat for. I'll get him right on that. Build a barracks and five militia to defend Look, your I'm getting there, alright? Jeez. Alright, when you finish all that, you start doing berries. Villagers can also build farms. Oh my build four farms near your I need wood for farms, leave me alone! Each farm needs only one villager working on it. I'm stressing out! <laughs> Alright, let's build a lumber camp up here. Um. Kia. We got one more. Maybe a couple more on wood as well. Slowly start building that. I'll have born it. Kia, born it. Born it. Born it. Born it. Kid, born it. I'll build two more villages, but we'll get them to do. We'll start up on farms. Oh my goodness. That's a real bad farm, right? That'll probably be all I'll need. If I really want, I can build one more fishing ship, but I feel like that's probably going a bit too hard and do it into food production, but... You are close to the English base. Better not knock down this wall until you have an army of about 12 soldiers. Start building some more houses, actually. Yeah, we'll just cut that out on him, right? Whatever, I'll live. Kid. Born it. Born it. Well, she's gonna walk here. Born it. 
I knew that was gonna happen. Let's get Loom, why not? Get some research up. Uh, that's 10 militia right there. Seems excessive, but you know what they say. Rob Yeah, I don't know. Probably need some more farms, actually. Once you've got a 500 foot house, and so to the feudal age at your town center. If you were low on food, build some additional farms. Yeah, I got farms. What are these on? The berry bushes are 125, yeah? Which is 250. All these militia should be enough to defend myself from the from the people. Put this up here now. The English are coming boys. to attack. To protect your villages, oh, we've got the high ground. You can use the town bell to garrison it's over, militiamen. Click your town center, then click town bell. I lost one. Good. You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town center, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. Kia, Rob Wigger. Erlov. Rob Wigger. Rob Wigger. Rob Wigger. Rob Wigger. I might actually have too many farms here. Oh, How are you two doing? Um, I'll get... Yeah, I might actually have too much. I'll have two more exactly, actually. Which will work out pretty well. Alright. Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge. Keep Courage. your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more troops. I'll get him to build a blacksmith, that's what I'm waiting for, but... S? I think S is blacksmith. We'll soon find out. Now that you have reached the feudal age, concentrate on making some soldiers Whoa, to fight the wasn't enemy. Even on wall. You will need at least 12. Remember to upgrade weapons and armor at the blacksmith. You do have a blacksmith. Oh, okay. leave me alone. Alright, let's get scored. Remember. You can upgrade your militia to men at arms in the men at arms. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford them. Let's get some uh, points for... Actually, I don't want to waste my food on things like that. We'll do uh, forging. I won't need double bit axe and we'll do that. I'd rather get the armor upgrade over double bit axe, you know? Now I can get double bit axe. I could also build arches if I really wanted to do this properly, but we'll be right. Attack move there. Alright, I thought I was being smart there, but no. Don't forget. Keep exploring, Keep exploring the map. Him, boys. I'm losing people left and right here. Oh, play. My scout cavalry, no! Good job. How can I explore the map with those scout cavalry? Destroy that tower, and our victory will be complete. There we are. Supplies! 
What a fish trap. Good way. Great job. No. You have destroyed Look at that the beautiful camp. building animation right there. The Battle of Stirling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Oh, look how much I can see now. Town watch. Now that you know how to build up, advance the right, on. Break them all down. Your you have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game. I think I'll get the point. I think I'll get the points for knocking out the house to see. Get some res resources on that. Get some technology points. Oh, hang on. No, I didn't break down one house. Damn. Sterling was our first really, I failed there. Victory. Even as we held the coastline, word the arrived coastline. that Sterling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. So many have now spoken. Now we know his name. Sir William Wallace, the I love the, of the English. the lightning. Edward Longshanks names Wallace a traitor and a criminal. Sir William replies he cannot be a traitor, for he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies... You're a traitor. Well... Am I? <laughs> Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn. <laughs> You're a traitor. Well, I mean... Really, I didn't break any law. <laughs> Any fealties or anything? Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling. Oof. So we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. Now we've been doing pretty well, just disregarding the economy at this point. We need point. to construct a market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Friendly clans? Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Great boost. Alrighty, let's go. Capture three relics and garrison them in your monastery. If you lose your initial monks, you can train more from your monastery when you reach the castle age, please. The Scots are mounting a defense against the English to aim and aim to capture all the relics in the region, boost the morale of their men. The first relic is in the Scottish town itself. Scottish allies have a walled town to the west and have the second relic. And the English have a strong base across the river, behind some walls as well, doesn't tell you that. And they have the third and final relic. Really. At least our scouts aren't lost in the woods this the one, Scottish so... Scottish army has been rallied by recent Paul. victories against the Oops. English. The situation is starting to look up. The it will help the morale scout, of our army okay. to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. Kid. One of the relics is close to your town. Bonnet. An ally has another relic. And the English have captured a third. Forgera? You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Oh, you start doing that then. I'd rather get rid of these trees around here. So we'll get rid of the trees so I can build some farms there. Uh, um, what do we need? We need forging, fletching, um, maybe a couple more arches. I'll get supplies, so then I can build Militia. Oh, I should probably get the Relic, eh? Ward Town over here. You are not auto-scouting, even though I hit G before. Good. You have a Relic. Protect the Relic in the Monastery by right-clicking the Monastery. Shit. Perfect. For me. You now have one Relic garrison. Relics garrison in your Monastery will slowly uh, add... Do I have enough for Bidax? No, I need 50 food for Bidax, don't I? Hundred food, damn, that's actually a lot. Kid. Uh, I'll build a couple Rob more houses you. up here. Rob with you. 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 I don't actually need bit axe, really. Like wheelbarrow, maybe. Farms are a good source of food once you have exhausted forage bushes and animals. Forage bushes oh, and farms animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. Uh -huh. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, oh, then right click the farm. Oh. Let's go. 
Can you go into the... Oh, it's locked. Well, it's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, the yellow player, can help you fight. Now it's unlocked. Oh, you can also trade with your allies. To trade, you will need to build a map. Oh, let's see how the cavalry said. Oh, found the relic. to see how his city is doing. Your allies' gate will open automatically. For you. Welcome. If you've come for the relic, well, you can find it on his the sacrifice will not be forgotten. Build five militia. Uh, yeah, you know what I also need though? What was that? Oh, yeah, you have those sheep. You take that one and we'll put it in here. That's two. Build another one up here. Actually, I don't need to be doing that because we have PP. Okay. Damn, they're using natural, natural tree walls as cover. It's crafty English. Um, after that, I'll just bring it here so that I know when it's done. Uh, let's get wheelbarrow. Why not? Bit axe. Actually, I don't need bit axe. I don't know why I keep clicking it. I think because I know that it's a good tech, I just go. I need it, but I don't actually need it. Um, I do want a couple of. We'll get men at arms, and I do want maybe three spearmen. Horse, man, I need a lot. Five on wood's really all I need today. Eh? Let's get a watch as well. It's deep. There we go. Did you know that there are three different modes for the mini map in the lower right corner of oh, the yeah. screen? A couple of spearmen coming out. You can show only military and we could probably go for the relic right now. Here. Honestly. By clicking the buttons just oh. below and to the right of the mini map. You now have two relics garrison. Bring back one more and you will be victorious. Get, um, I do want to get this as well because I've got a lot of infantry. Kid? I have how many men at arms? Nine. I'll get that now. Alright, cool. There's not really much else I can do here until... Oh, I could probably get padded archer armor too. 100 food. One more minute arms and then we'll do well. I could have also probably built a dock here and exchanged basically my wood for my food, but... That's fine. Right, let's go squad. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they are created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. Okay, we'll just do this in this. Here we go. You can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner Put of the screen for your civilization. Oh no. Ah! We got the knights! Nice. Alright, let's go in here. Let's um take the knights. Now that they have learnt about our Lord and Saviour, William Morse. Let's wreck these boys. Oh, 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright then. Always, guys, let's start coming up here. I did not expect that. Try out some idle villagers. Seven. One, two. Alright, you do that. Okay, you get that, and we'll bring it back here. There's also another, you could just, like, catch a, like, if you convert a villager, build a monastery from castle, which I'm not. But you could do that. And you just build a monastery, and then... Oh, goodness. I had just a bad bird then. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, F? F to tell? They're going in now, so let's just bring our men in and wreck them. Me, me, me. Congratulations. You have captured all three relics. Was he the relic all along? Man, tail's like forever to go on. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I got that off there. Oh. We got the relics With out. the three relics locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for yeah, the right. final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers and knights of our own. A little shaggy over here. Like slings! We march south to Falkirk, where we will join with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack on the English castle. Combined attack on the English castle. Woo! Technology, beautiful. Next one. The only way that we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. In a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle nice. is constructed, Wallace himself is sworn to join our forces. Freedom! Together, we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. Let us go. Build a castle, destroy the English castle. That's it. Scots are restricted to a population limit of 100. This scenario uses the advanced commands interface. Do not need to use it for Agent Buzz 2. Just provides some more powerful ways to control your civilization. Different civilizations have different strengths. For example, the Scots or the Celts. Have fast and powerful infantry, the Britons have long range archers. They will fight one final battle against the English at Falkirk. Their independence relies on it. News has spread that William Wallace is on his way with reinforcements and will arrive by ship. English have a strong presence to the south, launch raids on your land. They are bringing to infantry and their fearsome longbowmen. Not a five anything to say about it. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already. But you should right, complete one. them as soon as you have enough storm. Uh, defensive S. Beautiful. Okay, what do we need? We need food, I think, is the main thing. Uh, we'll need a couple more. In fact, we can go right to castle, so we'll do that. Uh, yeah, we'll need stone as well, so we'll really get some stone going. Oh, I actually have just enough. Here's that. You can also build towers to defend your city. 
units can garrison within a oh, tower. To oh, I got lost. Oh, wow. Archers can even fire out of a tower. Fire out of one. Get him. Oh no, my knight! I've lost the knight. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't actually realize you can just immediately go to Castle Edge in this. Four. Uh, we can probably get another four villages out as well. Need some upgrades if I. Mm. Oh, don't lose now. Uh. The whole point of me having all these units down if here you have was to. resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. I don't know. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. Not losing outposts, and I still to lost an outpost. Man, I am doing age. terrible this one. Age. I'm on my way, just calm down. I just, yeah, this is a little bit harder than I, I literally played this before. Like I did a quick run through just so I was pretty on point with what I need to do. And I just, I have never lost my knights and most of my army down here the from the initial buttons thing. let you set combat states for your soldiers. Just... A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near him. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons in the lower left we'll corner. Uh, to do that and then build a farm. Nah, just you know what you just do. I can't be bothered explaining all that. Using the advanced buttons, um, you can also command a soldier to patrol look, let's get forging two points and fletching. Or follow another unit. Get him. Fletching probably would have been really helpful, You're actually. You're going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. For starters, try building a siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. Alright, uh, we're going to put... I'm going to just cut my wood production down. Oh, yeah. We're going to come down here and build WR. Yes. Am I missing a farm or what's going on there? The advanced buttons allow access to a new type of formation. Right. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit Let's get... such as a monk. I honestly just want to work on getting blacksmith stuff at the moment. Airlove. Uh, you can start doing wood because I'll need wood eventually. Actually. Get the wolf. Get him. Why well, can't be the what, who? What's the one that kills wolves in one strike? Kia. What civ is that? You may need to assign extra villagers to gather stone, so you'll have enough to build the castle and all the fortifications you need. I will need a bit more stone, so what I'll do is I'll act... Yeah, I'll get them on stone now. Do four, maybe. Should be enough farms, right? Eleven farms, that's a lot. With your new siege workshop, you can make battering rams. Rams are slow. But they are resistant to arrow fire and excellent at knocking down walls. You may need some rams to attack the English castle. I hate doing that, but we're going to do that. For a C. Do it right here. And I don't have... I need some wood. Dumb. That's fine. Oh. Alright, uh, we'll get you to start Beed working fear. on gold, Beed. I reckon. Beed fear. Beed. 
Did not upgrade any of my economy, I just went right to Castle Age and I have nothing to build anything with. So, good on me. We're gonna get Bowsaw. We get, like... What do I have here? Four. Damn, I need a lot of stuff, eh? Yep, uh, so step one is focus economy first, please, because that's um, very Great. important. You have completed the castle, so William should be here soon. And then I suppose the bonuses, I don't have to worry damage. about the uh, economy now. Oh my goodness, market. Nice. Kid. Oh, yeah. oh, these guys aren't doing anything. Um, let's just get you back on water, I guess. I don't know. You watch, I'll get them all on wood and then I'll eventually ha I'll have an excess of wood. One of your most powerful units is created at the castle. Create ten more wood raiders. Alright, what do I have you? Um, these things, get rid of them. We'll bring these guys up to help attack. Let's go, boys. Um, let's go supplies. We'll hit arson as well. I was just going to say as soon as I can afford it, which is now. I'll get some militia and we'll put them in the rams as well. That'll make it faster. Um... Is a plan at least, but oh goodness. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys. Oh, what's that? Uh, why? No T. With William Wallace and his ward raiders on your side, the English may be in trouble. Once you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons, go destroy the English castle. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I need gold for a ram, don't I? Oh, stand ground. We'll just put you on. Kid, tall. Suppose I could just put wide raiders in there. I feel like they're a better to not have them in there though. We'll put what I can in there. We've got these guys, I've got this here. Hey, get back here. Elite Wade Raider. Oh, make this group one. Rams will make group two. Let's go. Alright, what's the ship? That one. Get in! Get in, losers! We're right in the English base! Bit 
What are you doing? <laughs> oh no! Look at these guys! I, I'm going to do that whenever they glitch out and do that kind of stupid movement. Like the uh, Howard screen. I hope that wasn't too loud. It didn't look like it was very loud, actually. It looked like it went up into the red. So I'm sorry about that. I thought I had it properly done. Hmm, interesting. Get it. Get him, boys. Ding. That's a really big axe. I just realized. Look at his hand. Look at his axe. It's giant. Tall. Tall. Yes, yeah, human. Oh, damn. The English castle at Falkirk is no more. I like how quiet it went <laughs> when it came down. Like the castle come down, that was went really quiet. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. Yar. It looks certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet somehow, though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious. The English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one shall be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Ah, uh, we did Only well. We've learned how to fight now, so I actually feel confident. Deeds and others. Many of the Scottish knights and lords have drawn their swords with his. Let us gingerly touch our tips. Wallace's own sword is a five and That's a, a role model's piece. reference. Forced, of course, in Scotland. Decapitated. He has swore not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. Damn. The struggle will continue. But we have learned the ways of war. Now, it is the English who fear. And we've done it! Look at that! Beautiful! What our economy look like? Damn. Did not think I collected 2,000 wood, considering I was running out of it all the time. Four minutes we went up. Nice, nice. 50% of the map explored. 28 villages. Probably could have done more, honestly. Well, we even had four villages? First, would transport ships count as villages? Because that might explain it. Immediately dies, yep, okay. <laughs> Unless he just has a random villages somewhere. Nice! And that's it! We've uh, gold medaled the William Wallace campaign, so good on us. And uh, we're ready to take on the wider world. Uh, we'll probably start with Drone of Arc next episode. Next series episode you know what i mean so if you do like this make sure you let me know in the comments and if there's a specific campaign you want me to do let me know and i will endeavor to do it because i don't mind swapping it out but i'll probably just go in order of release if uh nothing comes out but yes until then have an awesome one all stay hydrated stay uh strategic i don't know what an rts thing would be you know how it's like like stay frosty for a shooter like stay you know, yeah, strategic. I don't know. We'll think of something. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Catch you around.